Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and welcome to Found of Life Wednesday's Word, where our pastor is uh, Juan Hunter Sr., and I am Minister Juan Hunter Jr. Thank you for uh, joining in with us. So if you could just share, like, and uh, definitely comment. And, uh, and right now, I'll tell you thank you. Thank you, and God bless you. Uh, this week... We was we're gonna try something different. We're we're gonna uh talk about putting faith into practice. So uh last week, the week before, we was talking about uh trusting in God, keeping your mind stayed on him. This week we'll be talking about putting your faith into practice. Most of the time, uh when one talks about faith, they're they're talking about a, a spiritual uh, thing, and when we're talking about faith, we're also talking about uh, we're dealing with God. So, what is practice? Webster's definition of practice is uh, frequently re repeating or customary action, habit, custom to uh, custom to doing a habitual performance. In the Greek, it says uh, the word means habit, consider, to care for, study, to do, or work. In Hebrew, it is a deed or do make, or to act. So practice is an, an action or deed that one repeats. And then uh, at, as, ch as children of God, our practices and the stuff that we practice is the instructions of God's word, and we repeat it on the daily. But not only that, we repeat it throughout the day. These these are things that we do. We practice his word. So uh, because we're children of God, we don't practice sin. We don't practice the things of the world. And then not only that, it says we flee from the very existence or appearance of evil. But that's one of the many practices that we perform as children of God. One of the main practices, though, that we perform is faith. In Hebrews 11 and 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is believing in something that you have not yet seen. As a child of God, we walk by faith and not by sight. God has given each and every man a measure of faith. It's impossible for us to walk with God and not have faith. It's impossible to believe in God and not have faith because it's the things that are hoped for that have not been seen. Then, not only that, being that God has given each and every one of us a measure of faith, this means God puts the ability and the desire and the action of faith in us. It's something that he does, nothing that we can do ourselves. And not only that, he does it in us. He gives us the dreams. He's give, he gives us the visions. He gives us everything. He also gives us a glimpse, a, a glimpse of different things that are to come or to hope for. Uh, all of it comes from him. Things we desire, things that we want to happen, it all comes from him. There are things that are hoped for. And hope 
God gives us. Our hope is in God, especially with everything that's going on nowadays, especially on today, how, how uh, the capital was under siege by uh, by some domestic terrorists. That's what the news has said. They called it domestic terrorists. Uh, with all of that, we don't know what tomorrow's to bring, especially with, with things that are happening right now and, and even in the past year with COVID and the, the different things that are transpiring. We don't know what tomorrow is to bring. So what we need to do is, and what we have to practice, is trusting in God, but have faith that he will bring us out or he will deliver us, or he will heal us, or he will, because uh, he we call him Waymaker. So we have to make sure that our faith is in him, that he will take care of us like he said that he would, especially as long as we abide with him. Give me one second. Especially since we abide with him. We have to make sure that we believe, first believe that he'll do it. And then not only that we believe that he'll do it, we have to know without a doubt that he will do it. That no matter what, no matter what it looks like, no matter what I feel, no matter what I'm going through right now, I have to know for a fact that Jesus is going to make a way for me. I have to know for a fact that Jesus is going to heal me. I have to know for a fact that these things will happen because not only that I trust him, I believe that he will do it. And then the uh, one of the things that, that he does in our lives, because he's already did it multiple times before, He's already healed us before. He's already done did previous things before in our life that gave proof that he will and that he can, that he has the ability to. So we need to, when, when we go through something, we need to practice believing that he's going to do it. We need to practice that. When uh, we practice believing that he's going to do it, when we start going through it, we should just go ahead and automatically, our attitude should just be, you know what? Thank you, Jesus. I know you're going to bring me out of this. So I'm going to say thank you right now because I know for a fact that you're going to heal me. I know that you're going to give me the promotion at work. I know that you're going to, when you know this, that's when we start saying thank you, Jesus. And when we say thank you, Jesus, we say it at the beginning. And then when because that shows that practice that shows that we have faith that he's going to do it so because we've already thanking him for it, we've already thanked him for all the things that we we've been praying about so with that we we uh what i like i like to call that a now later praise we start praising them when we're thanking them i call that a a now and later praise because we praising them now while we, what before everything transpires when we see the storm coming or when we when we are in the midst of the storm we we praising him and thanking him right now but then not only that when he actually delivers us out of it or heals us from it or protects us or whatever the case may be then we praise him again that's a now and later praise we and then not only that because he he says that we were, we are to use faith because he says that we, we can't do this without him, without using faith. We can't even walk without using faith because of that, uh, because of that. And we're praising him in the middle of it, believing in him that he will do it. That means it's a sweet smelling savor in his mouth. I mean, in his nostrils, when he smells our praise, when we're praising him because he looks at us and says, oh, they believe in me. Not only that they believe in me, they know that I'm going to do it. They have faith that I'm going to do it. One person that I, I love the most who I believe had all the faith in the world is, is David. 
David was a man of faith because when 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 he when the things that he would uh do and say he used faith he declared faith in a lot of his scripture he declared faith and uh one thing that that God had placed on my heart to tell y'all is that when when we don't fully give faith in in God then we don't get that full blessing that we would have got if we was practicing faith in God. If we was practicing it in God, if we was fully faith, fully faith, full faithful in everything, then we would have uh we would have received a bigger blessing. He he sometimes, which he already knows all things, he already knows what uh the hearts of men he already knows the things that uh that we think about he already knows all of that but he he gives us everything that we not only that he gives us everything that we need if we was to fully have faith that oh god is going to deliver us from this if god if we believe that just like the uh the 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 uh, leopards the 10 lepers, just like the 10 lepers, when nine of them walked away, they didn't even show God, God reverence. They didn't even say thank you or anything. But that one came back and he was made whole. That right there lets me know that there's more. There was more on a blessing that all 10 of them could have got. There was more than just being blessed with healing from leprosy. But they would have also been made whole. That was extra to that, that the 10th the one got. He was the one who was made whole. But uh, thing is, if if you turn around and you put all your trust and all your faith in God, if, if you do it, he will bless you with everything. And I don't know about you, but I want everything God has for me. That's for me. And whatever it is, I want it all. I don't want a half a blessing. I want the whole blessing. And if it's if it's healed or delivered or protection or uh whatever, finances or uh my children saved or whatever it is, I want it and I want all of it. I don't want half of it. I don't want half of it at all. And then not only that, uh, God works in small stuff and in big stuff. So because he works in small stuff and in big stuff, I'm going to use my faith in small stuff and big stuff as well. I don't care if it's, uh, God, I lost my keys. I I don't know where they is, but I believe that you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do it for me. You're gonna show me where they're at. Then I'm then that's what that's what's gonna happen. We're practicing faith. If he sh- if we came to him, if we're praying to him, for one, you must know this. When you pray, you have to believe what you are praying. You have to believe it without a doubt, because. You don't want your words just to be in vain. You don't want to, want to just be talking just to be talking. You don't want to just be uh, saying anything to God. You want to believe everything that you're saying. When you pray, you want to pray with faith. Because then I believe, me personally, I believe that when you pray with faith, it happens quicker. He sees that and it happens quicker, which he already knows and preordained everything. But at the same time, I I think there's just a little bit more, a little bit more zest to it. I think there's just a little bit more to it when, when he, when you turn around and put faith in your prayer that I know you're going to do it, God. I mean, I, I just know you're going to do it, whether it's a small thing or whether it's a big thing, whether it's a, a, a minor thing or a major thing. When when it's a, a, a major situation like uh, a family member has cancer or a family member has COVID or a, 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 a family member is going through a depression state 
or whatever the case may be, then and we pray on that and we pray for their deliverance or we pray for their healing or we pray for the protection or we pray that God changes the situation, whatever it is. If we praying with faith that, oh, I know you're going to do it, God, and I thank you right now for it, then that's when he turns around. I know for a fact the atmosphere changes at this point because he says that when we do it with faith, when we do things with faith, that it has to change. The atmosphere has to change. Matter of fact, when we call on his name in situations the atmosphere automatically has to change. Demons tremble by the sound of his name. So that, that lets us know that we're calling on him with faith because uh, I don't know. I've been inside car accidents before. I've been in, you know, situations where I might have been a little worried. I don't want to say fearful because God didn't give us the spirit of fear. But uh, when, the, when those situations had happened, the first response, the first thing that came out of my mouth was Jesus. It wasn't a cuss word. It wasn't this or it wasn't that. It was Jesus. And because I believe in him that he would change whatever's happening right now in this current moment, I called on his name. That's practicing faith. And 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 you one thing you must know, one thing you must know is that he reveals this to you, that he's done it in your life, that he's uh, doing it in your life. He gives you that revelation. And because he gives you that revelation, we go ahead and we thank him now. With everything that's going on, especially with the, uh, again, with, with you know, Congress and the, the domestic terrorists and stuff like that, what was go what's going on right now? We don't know what the future is to hold. We don't know what tomorrow is to bring. But our hope is in God. Our trust is in God. Our faith is in God. And because we don't know what what tomorrow is to bring and 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 all of that, we have to trust in him. He puts us in a position where we have to do it. We have to believe that he'll see us through. We have to believe that whatever worries, because we, we're not supposed to worry about tomorrow because there's so much worry in just today, that our worries that are for tomorrow, we'll trust and believe and have faith that he'll bring us through that. We'll bring, I mean, that he'll bring us through all of it. See, we 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 also use what I uh call unconscious faith. And the reason why I say we we do it unconsciously. People use faith because God gave each and every man a measure of faith. People use unconscious faith all the time. You just automatically go to your car and assume that it's gonna start up. That's using faith that oh, I'm about to go from point A to point B. We use unconscious faith when we go to the, the lights, we just automatically assume, oh, the lights are going to come on. Oh, was it because we paid a bill? No. It could be a power outage. It could be anything. We just automatically assume that the, this is going to happen. Oh, uh, we, automatic, we automatically assume a lot. We, we automatically assume that we're going to get this paycheck or the stimulus check or the paycheck if we're still working and stuff. For those who are still working, we assume that we're gonna get it because we worked out. What if what is what if the business was like, hey, you know what, we can't pay y'all. We just went bankrupt. God doesn't let none of these things be. It's because us being children of God, we we put our faith in Him. We put our trust in Him. That he is our provider, that he is our way maker, that he is the one who elevates us, who gives us the promotion, who who heals us, who delivers us. It's only because of him and the one who holds all that power, all that authority over our life. We don't have a choice 
but to put faith in him. So on this week, because time is getting away from me and we have the prayer call tonight. Remember the prayer call. Uh, it is Wednesday, so remember the prayer call. It's very good, especially when we all pray together. Uh, but I got sidetracked for a second. Sorry about that, you guys. Uh, but because he's the one who holds all of it, because he's the one who has all authority, because he is our creator, he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Because he is all of these things, he is God and his name is Jesus. Because of that, we have to put our faith in him. And not only that, we have to practice putting our faith in him. We have to always practice, practice repeatedly doing these things repeatedly putting our treasures up in heaven. Seek ye the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God first. We have to do these things first. And because of that, because of that, this week, practice implementing faith in your walk, in your daily walk with God. Literally every second, every moment of the day, we're left with decisions to be made, whether we're going to go this way or go this way. We're left with judgments to be made, whether we're going to do this or whether we're going to do that. But with everything that you do, do make sure you choose God first and you do it with faith. God bless you. Each and every one of y'all, I love y'all. That is my time. And I'll be praying tonight with, uh, well, I'm not personally praying, but I'm praying with my pastor tonight. And I hope to hear you all in on the prayer call. Thank you. God bless you. And Godspeed. Put faith into practice. If you don't get anything else, put faith into practice. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Be safe.